Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all having a great and wonderful day. Well, we're going to be talking about uh, what's going on with Disney and their so-called zebra kids and targeting them for trans ideology. Because this is not really a surprise to anyone, especially with the abysmal, uh, atrocious uh, show that is called The Acolyte, which, uh, again, I'm still uh, having um, nightmare flashes uh, from. And it's just... It's all terrible. It's all bloody terrible, and we're going to be going over it today. So what we have here is this from the James O'Keefe uh, O'Keefe Media Group saying, uh, Exclusive, an insider source at Disney has provided O'Keefe Media with startling internal documents and communications. These documents reveal Disney's promotion of pride events for children that involved naked men, maps of Disney, and sponsored pride parades, uh, nationwide Disney's cover partnership with Zebra Youth, a program supporting LGBTQ youth ages 13 through 24, and messages about polysexual virtual hangouts. Disney is desperate to keep these documents and messages hidden. OMG is posing their secret queer agenda. Yeah, because, of course, we all know that Disney is a bunch of child grabbers. This is not really a... Uh, um, not really a much of a uh, surprise to anyone, considering the fact that, you know, these child grabbers uh, uh, in Disney, <laughs> I mean, their operation ring, <laughs> that, that's all great and daddy. And again, it has with this as well. He goes on to say, and Andre Freeman, senior software engineer at the Walt Disney Company, and Alexi Jackson reveal Disney's involvement in polysexual virtual hangouts. Goes on to say, Andre Jackson is saying, thanks to thanks to Lexi Jackson, we have a new poster for Friday. Please feel free to send it around on, or post it. We hope you can make it. Allies and folks curious about Polly are more than warmly welcome. This is and this sounds sounds down here. Hashtag Disney Pride and uh, all that great stuff. It says virtual meetup, virtual Polly meetup. And then it goes on to say that. Tony Harrison, Disney's mob mobile product operations manager, advertises Disney's promotion of pride events for children that involve naked men. And here's what we have here. This is from Tony Harrison uh, Shishair, or whatever you want to pronounce this, uh, this child grabber's name. Join the Walt Disney cult company in participating in this year's 50th annual Seattle Pride Parade on Sunday, June 30th. Please register here by Friday, June 14th, 2024, to join the celebration and receive your event t-shirt on the day of the parade. Check out, out a previous year's recap to see how you can be part of the magic. It continues to go on to here to say that Adriana Aguilar, visual content producer at ABC News, disseminates maps detailing Disney-sponsored pride parades. And this is all saying Pride Month, Pride Parades, and it's happening in... Fresno, Washington, Los Angeles, Raleigh, Houston, Seattle, Chicago, New York, San Francisco, San Diego, Oakland, Orlando, Honolulu, and OC Anaheim. So these are all the Pride Month Parade's locations here. Uh, and again, it goes back to say, Justin, Justin Moody, creative leader at Disney, supplies exclusive Disney Pride Zoom backgrounds. And uh, says, Gab Medina says, here are some Zoom backgrounds courtesy of Disney Pride Florida and Justin. Happy Pride Month. And it shows all the actual Pride stuff here that is for everybody to see. And of course, Melissa Cuny says, thank you for sharing. Goes on. Uh, Queen Jujuku, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, uh, that last name, Vice President of the DEI at Disney Entertainment, plays a pivotal role in all these in initiatives. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, that's great. <laughs> this person here, that's great. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all of it. So, uh, I don't know about you guys, but, uh, it seems that, uh, these guys Our brave are whistleblowers on the inside of Disney are, uh, quite insane. Uh, we're gonna watch a little bit of this here, because, uh, of course, uh, what's, what's better than to start uh, understanding the real danger of Disney, the Disney cult? Our brave whistleblowers on the inside of Disney have given us an inside look at Disney's internal communications hub, internal employee websites, group chats and bulletin boards, Disney's company employee roster, and their Slack channel threads.
And what we've discovered is so shocking that it makes the Disney tape series look like child's play. Literally, the Disney employee named Honey Harrison, who is promoting a Disney-sanctioned and sponsored Seattle Pride event via the Disney Slack channel. As we dug deeper into what she was marketing, we found it was an LGBTQ Pride event sponsored by Disney and meant for kids of all ages. Children, very young children, were there to see it all. Compliments of the Walt Disney Company. Did look like our brave whistleblower. No, oh, yeah, that's what's going on at Disney. Uh, this is, th 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 listen, at this point, the people that are at Pride events are now considered child grabbers. This is what we're going to call them. These are child grabbers, and that's nothing else to it. These people are sick. They're disgusting. They need to be arrested, and I think uh, uh, for uh, child grabber charges. It just put it that way, because obviously these people are disgusting, and it it doesn't get any better than this. It just gets more and more disgusting the more that you go through it. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Let's try to share. As always, take care. Oh, and keep your children away from pride events. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. Cause it's algorithmic disease, the social media.